This video is about the conservation of mass and this ties in to our idea about why it's important to balance equations with the idea that the mass of the reactants on the left hand side of the equation must equal the mass of the product or the products on the right hand side of the equation. So here we have an example of magnesium plus oxygen makes magnesium oxide. And the reason why we balance the equation is because we need to make sure that the no, there are no atoms gained or lost in the chemical reaction. So in the same way, if we had an amount of magnesium reacting with an amount of oxygen, this must total the amount of magnesium oxide made. For example, if we had 20 grams of magnesium reacting with one gram of oxygen, we must have made in total 21 grams of magnesium oxide. So some simple maths whereby the masses on the left hand side must equal the mass of the product or the products on the right hand side of the equation. So in this example if you had one solution that was um, 10 grams you reacted that with a solution that was 12.5 grams the product that you make made must equal 10 plus 12.5 and therefore must be 22.5 grams. Now in some cases it will appear like the mass in a reaction has gone down and we know that that can't happen. So in this example we've got copper carbonate being heated and copper oxide and carbon dioxide being produced. So if you started with a mass of 25 grams of copper carbonate you would expect that the carbon dioxide and the copper oxide together would have a total mass of 25 grams. However, if you didn't have a lid on this um, boiling tube here, the carbon dioxide would just escape. So there would be mass in the form of carbon dioxide coming out of the boiling tube and it would appear that the mass was lost. However, we know that mass hasn't been lost. It's just in this carbon dioxide, which is released from the boiling tube. So when you come to weigh the solid that le that's left, you may well have, for example, 22 grams of copper oxide. And it would appear that the substance has lost mass. We've got 25 grams here, 22 grams here but we know this can't happen so that we know that three grams of carbon dioxide must have been released because together the substance at the start of the reaction must weigh the same as the products of the reaction. So 25 grams of copper carbonate to start with, we must have 25 grams on the other side which we get from 22 grams of copper oxide added to 3 grams of carbon dioxide to make 25 grams in total. So if you get a question where it appears the mass has gone down, think to yourself, could a gas have been released and will that explain the apparent mass lost? Here are some questions for you to have a go at in relation to the conservation of mass. If you pause the video, you can have a go at the questions and then play the video again to see if you got them right. So we've got 15 grams plus 50 grams on this side, which gives a total of 65 grams. On this side of the reaction, we've got 60 grams of sodium chloride. Therefore, 
we must have 5 grams of hydrogen because then we have 60 plus 5 which makes 65 grams overall on the right hand side of the equation and 65 grams on the left hand side of the equation. For the next question 5 grams of potassium and 10 grams of water makes 15 grams on this side. We have got one gram of hydrogen being released therefore we must have 14 grams of potassium hydroxide because 14 plus the one makes 15 grams which is the same as on the left hand side of the equation. For question 3 Ben heated 31.5 grams of copper and made 39.5 grams of copper oxide. What gas reacted with copper to make copper oxide and what is the mass of the gas that reacted? So remembering what happens when metals react with oxygen, they make oxides. So the gas that's reacted with the copper is oxygen. And if he had 31.5 grams of copper but now has 39.5 grams of copper oxide, it must have reacted with 8 grams of oxygen because 31.5 plus 8 makes 39.5. For question 4, when calcium carbonate is broken down by heat it makes two products, calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. Here is the word equation for the reaction, so you've got calcium, calcium carbonate broken down by heat into calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide. Alex heated 10 grams of calcium carbonate in a Bunsen flame. After heating, he weighed the product of the reaction. He now had 7 grams of calcium oxide. Explain why the mass went down. So if he started with 10 grams of calcium carbonate, and he's left with 7 grams of calcium oxide, this apparent loss of mass is explained by the fact that he must have had 3 grams of carbon dioxide released. So it looked like the mass went down, when in actual fact, like all reactions, the mass of the reactants was the same as the product but this 3 grams of carbon dioxide was released and therefore it looked like the mass went down.